Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Frostpunk. Where shit's getting serious. Uh, we've got a lot of sick that we need to treat, we've got homes going up and we've got to really prepare for this storm. I've got something in mind that I want to do to try and improve our workplace efficiency and that's going with the foreman law which allows me to appoint a foreman to workplaces which means we can improve the efficiency of a workplace by 40% for 24 hours I'm hoping that that's going to include infirmaries I don't think it does shit where, where does that count for? Oh, accounts for like industry places. Oh, bugger. That's not fantastic. I was hoping that I might have been able to get those guys working in the infirmaries to try and improve it. You know, like, try and improve them. Uh, oh dear, we've got a fight over supplies. Sir, an argument erupted between some workers last night. Some of them wanted a portion of the resources their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, and though nobody was seriously injured, tensions are running high. Well, keep me updated, please. I'm gonna get another couple of infirmaries built. I can only build two more. And I can fit one in here, and that's it for using the heat zone from this thing. Which ain't great. I'll be honest with you. It's just pretty shite. Uh, what research are we doing? Flying hunter's gear. Oh, that's good, because then we can get more raw food in. The temperature's going to be dropping again come the next day. I'm not looking forward to that. How are the houses looking? Cozy. They're looking good. It's our food production that I'm currently concerned with. I'm... I'm even thinking at least one more Hunter's Hangar will be good. Let's speed our way through the night. As far as coal goes, we're doing phenomenally well. We can... I reckon we'll be alright for, you know, boosting coal consumption. You know, upgrading the generator and possibly even the steam hubs. Wouldn't be a bad idea. We've got... Scouts on the way back with more people. And then the other scout group are on their way to Deep Hollow. Got snow burrows frosted over already. I'm glad we got those people out. But it's whether we can house everyone. It's going to be the big issue now. We can probably fit more houses in around this way. And we do have quite a bit of space left, so... Not a huge issue. Right, temperature's falling. How bad. The houses are all still comfortable. So, that's good. Uh, right, what now? A mob storms the stockpiles. Sir, a crowd of terrified people has stormed the stockpiles and started plundering our supplies. We managed to fight them off, but they demand wood for heating and to reinforce their homes. We need 1,220 wood to supply everyone. And I'll have 24 hours to supply that wood. Uh, I'll try and do that. So I'm nearly there anyway. I mean... I could send a foreman to work here, that'll boost the efficiency of it. Which works. Another infirmary is open. Please get to treating people. Scouts have returned. And... I don't need to worry about housing them, so that's good. Uh, what am I doing? I need to go to the beacon and disband you guys. That gets us the wood that we needed. Fantastic. Now all of our wood supplies have gone, which ain't great. But this thing will continue to produce wood, so... That's something. Oh fuck, we got another automaton? When did I build one of those? I don't remember doing that. Uh, we haven't got any more queued up, so that's alright. And our research is just about done. 
sweet. Flying Hunter's gear. Awesome stuff. But now we need to get more... Uh, or get overdrive couplings, because that can help boost the... Um, the heat that the generator can put out when it's in overdrive. Might it be worth building another wall drill? Use up my last steam core. Actually, have I got anywhere I can put it? Is there anywhere else in this crater that I can place a wall drill? There is. Okay, good. Yeah, go on, because I'm going to want to keep blasting through research while I'm doing all of this. So, I'll just drag a line over this way. Get that connected. Get it built, get another automaton working in it. Ooh, our scouts have arrived. Explore, grab them, bring them to the city. Go, quick. And automaton working in there. We're still really struggling to heal people. Like, our sick are not going down. Wait, what the fuck am I meant to do? All the double rations are still running as well. I need a fucking miracle cure for getting these people treated. Okay. Uh, overnight we'll save up some wood to get more uh, generator research done, because we need to get power upgrade 3 done. And I'm really hoping that we're going to have enough uh, food rations to get us by. I don't want to have to go down like the soup route. But it may be necessary. As much as that sucks. Uh, right, power upgrade 3. Let's get that. Temperature is going to be dropping down to minus 80 come morning. I've got just over a day to finish all of the uh, requirements here, and that includes the food. And as things currently stand, I don't think we're going to get the amount that we need. Right, the last group of scouts has a returned, and we can disband them. No, I don't need to look at the Azure Dubliner. <laughs> right, all scouts disbanded. Awesome stuff. And we've now got homeless again, so... Um, houses. Let's get a few in around here. I only need two anyway, so... That last one could be scrapped. If I get the uh, range extension on the steam hubs, then that will help to keep these houses warm as well. Because, yeah, those are getting cold. Ugh, that hope is dropping. I mean, the discontent's low, but the hope ain't looking good either. That fucking number of sick just will not drop. Right, let's just double rations again. That's a care house. I don't want to be using extra rations at all. But I need to try and treat these people. And I really don't think we're going to have enough food for everyone. Because I think the next day, when we get to 7 o'clock, the storm's going to hit. And we are going to be fucked. And the last bit of research for the generator is coming up. And boom. Maximum generator up upgrades. Right. Now... Hmm... I might go for the Steam Hub range upgrade, because that will encompass everything that we've built so far at that point. Um, there's also the safety bypass. So the generator stress will increase 25% slower and fall 25% faster. So that could be something to look at. We'll go for the Steam Hub upgrade first. You're building up to Steam level 4. And that should get 
everything back up to nice cosy temperatures. For now, yes, good. And we're still doing great on our production consumption ratio. Yeah, I've got I've got three hours left to get food in. But that's when the storm's gonna hit. So it's gonna be a case of the rangers are gonna have to come back and hopefully we're just gonna be able to produce enough food rations. I hope the cookhouses will still work. Oh boy. Brace yourselves, everyone. It's on its way. Hell has indeed frozen over, Martha. I, I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh, fuck. I only need to f heal another 50 people. We're getting there. There it is. Oh, God. The storm hits the city. A howling gale bursts upon the city and the generator creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn towards rattling windows. Trembling lips utter words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the hot houses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we stockpiled. The city must survive. We've done what we could to prepare. We didn't finish in time, but now it doesn't matter. Be wary of the falling temperature and survive until the end of the storm. Oh, here we go. Right. Cookhouses are operational. Good. So we are still going to be producing food, I hope. Yeah, those food rations are going down, so... Hopefully, there'll be enough there to keep everybody fed. But, yeah, temperature's going to drop and drop and drop day after day. It's down to minus 100, 110, 120... Temperatures are already looking dire in these houses. Like, it's freezing, and considering the insulation that these things are meant to have... Fuck. Alright. Whoa. The sound of rocks and stuff crumbling and breaking under the wind. We can keep doing research and all that sort of stuff. So, we'll keep that going. Alright, Steam Hump Ranger upgrade, upgrade done. That's fucking great. Yeah, that encompasses all of those houses. They're not freezing anymore. Ooh, right. I'm going to go for healthcare insulation. And, oh shit, 20 hours left on this? How did we drop it down into minus numbers? God, that got really bad really quick. We're going to have to go for some more automaton integration, I think. So we need to boost their efficiency while they're working for the coal stuff. Because... Mm. We've got to keep everything going. We've got to keep this generator running. It's not a case of we... Well, it is a case of, like, the storage is near capacity, so these aren't working at the moment. So that would explain why we're not sh we're showing negative numbers on this. That should change once storage becomes available. Because yeah, it's fluctuating so damn hard. Oh, just listen to the sounds of the environment. Healthcare promise broken. Hope falls, discontent rises. Oh my god, hope's at zero. Fuck, people are desperate. Sir, people are talking openly about overthrowing you. Bereft of hope, they see no future for our city and they blame you for that. What should we do? I, I, what can I do? Um, We must hold on for a couple more days. I've got to get hope back to that point. Jesus. Okay, um... Is there something I can do under purpose that will raise hope? I don't want to go down these routes. Patrols? Okay, we'll do that. Um, that's going to end up using food rations, but... It will help a bit. I, j I just hope that it does enough. Because fucking hell... 
Oh, jeez. Do I need to take people out of these? Yeah, I should take people out of these workplaces because they're all sitting here freezing their tits off. There's no point in having them here. All of you go home. Get into isolation, come on. Protect yourselves. Alright, give me a minute. I'm just going to pause this and get everybody out of the hangars. Because you don't need to be here. I think that's all of them. Uh, that cookhouse is too cold. Put the heaters on. And what's going on here? One of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger that the cold possesses to our minds. Or poses to our minds. We're doing everything we can to heat the mines, but the air we're pumping into the shaft is so cold now that the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. When they do, the tunnels will start collapsing. Fuck. That's bad. Um, someone has had to have a limb amputated, build them a prosthetic. That hope, I think, is rising back up to that bar. I hope it continues. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Come on. Good, good, good. Go, go, go. Oh, just about done it. Hope is at 15%. Fuck. <laughs> I really hope the coal mines don't collapse. Because that's really going to fuck us up. Oh, God. It just got so much colder. All of the infirmaries aren't working. Put heaters on everywhere. Child shelters aren't operating because they're too cold. The cookhouse is fucked. The mines are freezing. Sir, it's so cold that the hydraulic roof supports in our coal mines are failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We should either abandon them or send volunteers to replace the supports. But the task is extremely dangerous. Ten volunteers will be sent to each mine. Some of them may die. Or... I can lower the output of all coal mines by 80%. we got to send the volunteers. We can't lose that much coal. Fuck. 30 people died. Hope went up, though. Fucking hell. Right, the cookhouses aren't functioning anyway, because there's no food left to process. Um, get people back in these. We'll get the heaters on. Just try and keep them running. Healthcare insulation gone up. Brilliant. Uh, I'm going to go for... Generator safety bypass, then we'll try and do the range one, see if that might help any, and maybe even the heaters. Why are these complaining about being cold? These gathering posts have still got people working in them! Fuck! Okay, um, slow things down. Get people working, or get an automaton working there, take this one out of the cookhouse. Have it working here as well. Because that should also help to boost the coal a bit more. But even so, it's not looking good. I need to be doing the automaton integration. Because, yeah, we're holding really... Right, generated bypass, done, cool. Um, get automation, automaton integration three. Get their efficiency boosted. God, what now? People die in the street. Captain, an angry crowd has gathered to protest the deplorable state of our healthcare. Many of our people have been ill for a long time with no help in sight. They demand a new place of treatment. I, I can't... I don't even think I've got the resources to build another infirmary. Do I? No, I haven't got any steam cores left. Fuck, why did I do that? I used it to build a wall drill. Shit. Storm's harvest. Captain the Ill and their families have gathered to demand that we do something. Anything to help them. But the number of frostbite cases keeps rising and we might not be able to help all the sick in time. You could use triage to heal most of them, but many would have to die. Fucking hell, disperse the crowds. Jesus, I'm not doing that. Oh, bloody hell, more hands needed. So the volunteers we sent to the mines weren't 
keep the mines running were, weren't enough. There's been a cave-in. Either we send more people to open the tunnels and replace the rest of the supports, or the sacrifice of the first group will be in vain. Send more people. We can't lose those mines. Fuck. I mean, my hope's going up, you know, despite the fact that 45 people have died recently. Okay, how are we doing on temperature? Dropping down to 110, 120. Oh, fuck, it's going to drop down to th one, minus 150 on day 48. Oh, Christ. This shit ain't good, man. Oh, come on, let's just burn through the day. Let's get the, uh... uh yep. God, let's pop heaters on in all of the guard towers as well. I'd rather I didn't have to, but I need to try and mitigate some of the risks for these people. Prison's also very cold. Like anywhere that I've got people working, I think needs the heaters on at this point. Uh, why has the cookhouse got the heaters on? They don't need them. Uh, child shelters are currently freezing. And that infirmary needs its uh, heaters on. Mines are operational. Thank fuck. The man volunteers managed to replace critical supports in the lower levels of our coal mines. Our coal supply is safe for now, but the cost was great. 45 of our people paid with their lives to give us a chance of survival. They will be honoured. I can assure you of that. Right, come on, we need to blast through this research. And we're just about there. Good, done. Automaton 3, done. Integration 3, done. Uh, what else could help right now? Coal mining could help. I don't think there's anything here that I can make use of. I think improving the heaters would be a good option. But also the efficiency upgrades as well. We'll go for the heaters first. That does kind of slightly put us back in the green. Hopefully we can build those stockpiles up a little bit more. In fact, while I think about it, let's get... No, not re, not gathering posts. I want more resource depots. Set some more of these up for coal. Just so we've got more capacity to stockpile stuff. Oh, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Noticing all the stuff falling down, and it's like, that's that's just snow, isn't it? That's not like lightning or anything. Okay, five new gathering, uh, five new resource depots available. So the automatons can just work overnight. Get as much stuff in storage as possible. Let's press on. We got a drop down to 120 coming now. And then we gotta hold out for a couple of days and then it drops to 150. And fuck are we gonna be hurting then? Oh god, yep. It just dropped even further. Shit. Um What can I do about that? The only thing I can do to improve the the temperature now is by switching things into overdrive. Because I don't even... Uh, the range upgrade or range extension wouldn't do it. So let's chuck things into overdrive for now. Because that will boost us back up to... Oh, God! Darkness before the dawn. Sir, one of our engineers has come crashing through the door, white-faced, demanding to see you. I've run the calculations with the new data. The storm will pass in a couple of days, but the temperature just before the end will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong. So I think... Okay, there's a sun there. That looks like it should, hopefully, be the... Uh, signaling the end of this. 
However long we have to push this. Oh, boy. As long as we can... Stop the generator from exploding. That's probably going to be the, you know, the most important part of all of this. Right. Improved heaters. Excellent. Um, let's go for the steam hub efficiency upgrade. Because, yeah, we're back in the red again. Oh, fuck. People are refusing to work. A group of people employed at this guard station refused to go to work today. They say that they want to spend their final hours with their families. Let them stay home. We just gotta... I, I don't even know what to say at this point. All we can do is just struggle on. But I'm not looking forward to that temperature drop. Right, steam hub efficiency upgrade done. That's dropped our coal consumption by a fuckload. Right, um... Let's go for the heater efficiency one next. People are dying in the street again. <sighs> Fuck. Uh, disperse the crowd. Because I can't do anything about it. Yep, there we go. That's just fuck things anyway. Storm's harvest. Oh, fuck. What do you mean requires an active guard station? I've got one. I don't want to use triage. I mean, I'd rather the discontent rise than... Oh, I'll find another solution. Just trust me, we'll get through this. I'm sorry we don't have enough infirmaries. I thought seven would be alright. Oh, generator stress is getting to about 50%. That little bar's shown up. Oh. How many... We haven't got that much in the way of gravely ill. Like, they're being treated. It's just regular sick that we've got. I can't spare the rations to get them treated quicker. Right, I'm going to turn the overdrive off for today. Or for the rest of the day. I'm just going to suck, I know. Oh, fuck. Even more people have abandoned their workplace. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't believe we'll make it. This time, the entire staff of this workshop have refused to go to work. Let them stay home. God, what now? So it's a miracle. The man who went looking for his daughter is back. He brought her with him. He said that he found her soon after leaving the city, but then they got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard to find their way back. They're both exhausted and frostbitten, but very happy. I'm glad to hear it. Ugh. Oh. That's a little bit of good news, but I hope that you don't die here now. So the frostbite got to someone. Uh, we'll go for advanced heaters, and then we'll try the range upgrades. I doubt that they're going to help at all, but... I don't think it's going to be worth much once the next storm hit comes in. And... The factory, yeah, we're not using the factory anyway. I really need the generator to kind of drop a little bit. I'll switch it into overdrive once the morning rolls around. Because that's when we're really going to fucking need it. I'm not hopeful for things. Work ceases. So most of our people have abandoned their workplaces to stay home with their families. Only the medical facilities are still functioning. The city holds its breath, waiting for whatever the end will bring. This is going to be it, I reckon. Oh, look at that discontent go up. Fuck. So, wait. Not even... Is my research going to be doing anything? Right, fuck. Overdrive, go. That's doing nothing. The generator is contributing nothing to the temperature. 
Oh, fuck. A night hit at 3 a.m. So is the sun... Is that sun at 7? Is that when the reprieve is coming? When the storm's gonna leave? Oh, fuck. How bad are we gonna suffer? Come on, we hit 5. 5 a.m. No deaths yet. Speed it up a little bit. We won't go full blast. Come on. Fuck, look at the number of sick. That's horrendous. 557 people are freezing. The storm ends. The wind dies down and the temperature finally starts to rise. An eerie silence descends on the city. Temperature rising all the way back to... At least, possibly, minus 30. We did it. We survived the final blow. We will live. We made it. It's over. I can't believe it. It's finally over. We have survived. Oh. God, that was stressful. Oh, nice. We had a time lapse of the city we built. We started as a small society. Some refugees. 80 people. No food. Old habits. When sickness hit us, we refused to give up on anyone. And every day was a struggle. So we adapted. Prisons, watchful guards, work oversight. Morning gatherings. Oh, look at the place. Yet, I think we haven't crossed the line. Order gave us strength. We survived. Oh, we did. 1887. New London, 585 people, minus 30 degrees C. Oh. Fuck yes! We did it! Oh man, that was a real, real challenge. Like, fair play, this game is bloody good, but it does not pull any punches. It's one of those real sort of trial and error games. It's taken me quite a while to figure out kind of a method of progression to be able to get things going and to sustain them. And I was kind of concerned that we weren't going to survive that last bit because, God, those temperature drops were rough. But this has been a lot of fun. Like I said, it's been a good learning process of, of going through in, you know, kind of uh, different iterations with more knowledge each time and yeah I've really enjoyed this there are like alternate scenarios uh, that we can do obviously a new home is what we did we've got the arcs where we have right yeah I have read these up before um, we have to maintain like, warehouses that have got, like, seeds and plant specimens. So, that could be a fun one to try out. There's the refugees. With the safety of the gener the safety of the generator was reserved for the wealthy. We seized it so we could build a city where people are equal. But can we accept everyone who comes to seek shelter? 
So I think that's going to be similar to the um, kind of refugee segment of uh, a new home where you'd have groups of people coming in. You've got to house them based on, you know, like bring them in based on, like, whether you think they're going to contribute well enough. I don't know if how much that's going to change, whether there are going to be people there who are going to be, uh, you know, um, troublemakers or however you want to put it. So, may have a look at that at some point. And then there's the fall of Winter Home. We built our city to survive the long winter. Now we have to fight against time to save it and our lives from impending doom. So I think this is actually meant to be Winter Home and we get to build the city and keep it going as long as we possibly can. I'm assuming. And then there's uh, The Last Autumn, which is a, a DLC. And I think this is meant to be set just before the uh, the snows fall. But I don't have access to that one, but I may look into it. Uh, I think for now we are going to take a little bit of a break from uh, Frostpunk. It's been good fun, it's been quite stressful, but I will come back at some point and we'll have a look at some of these other scenarios. Uh, I'm kind of in I'm interested most in the refugees and the fall of winter home. So we may come back to play those at some point, but I think for now I'm going to wrap this video and this series for the time being up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays and Metal Covers and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video. I'll catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Just realised the leg on my... Oh, fucking hell, I wish I hadn't dropped down here. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh, no.